According to the European Central Bank's most recent progress report on a retail digital currency, credit institutions and payment service providers will manage services associated with the digital euro issued by the bank. Although the ECB has previously stated that supervised private intermediaries are best suited to providing user-facing services and developing new business models, the report released on Wednesday details the role these entities will play in a digital euro payment system. ECB supervised intermediaries will act as direct counterparts for individuals, merchants and businesses when using the CBDC. Their duties would include providing user-facing services such as opening accounts or wallets, payment instruments and onboarding and offboarding which would include know your customer and anti-money laundering checks. They would also provide devices or interfaces for paying in physical stores online or in person according to the report. Paxful, a peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency marketplace, has removed Ether, the native token of Ethereum, from its marketplace citing a number of concerns about the world's second-largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. Paxful CEO Ray Yosef announced the change in message to the platform's 11.6 million users, which he then shared on Twitter. Yosef cited three major concerns about the Ethereum ecosystem as the reason for the marketplace's removal of ETH, citing Paxful's intent to maintain its integrity and efforts to combat economic apartheid around the world caused by fiat monetary systems. I want to see a world where Bitcoin frees billions of people held back by this evil system, especially those necessarily harmed living in the global south. On December 21, the Advertising Standards Authority, the UK's advertising regulator, banned Crypto.com's NFT promotion. According to the press release, ASA flagged a paid-for Facebook advertisement for the crypto platform, citing a failure to illustrate the risk of investing in NFTs and clarify fee details. This is not the exchange's first complaint about an advertisement. In fact, the regulator banned two advertisements from the platform earlier this year in response to a similar complaint. In response to ASA's decision, Crypto.com believes the NFTs available on its platform are not financial in nature. It further stated that the ad only promoted the exchange itself on which NFTs could be purchased and not specific NFTs and called the regulator's request to be unreasonable. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. Retiring US Senator Toomey introduces new stablecoin bill. Wave's founder unveils new undepeggable stablecoin amidst USD in crisis. Uniswap DAO community members vote in favor of new governance process. Stay tuned for more updates. Oh, 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 oh,